Hi guys. guys, it's Crystal and today I just have like a talking video and it's my plastic surgery experience in Korea Probably all of you guys from Instagram know that I got plastic surgery in Korea and I got it around two and a half months ago and I was going to make this video a month after I got my surgery but I didn't know the swelling was going to go down so slow so I ended up filming it now the procedures I got are my eyes, nose, and chin liposuction and I'll get to each one in detail and I'll start with the eyes so for the eyes I got double eyelid surgery ptosis correction which is fixing the lazy eye by cutting out the eyelid fat and stitching it together and the inner corner eye surgery and I don't really know what it's called in English but it's where they cut the inner corners to make your eyes look bigger and a lot of people in Korea get it with double eyelid surgery or ptosis correction so I got my eyes done from this hospital in Gangnam my mom's friends actually recommended that hospital and since I didn't have much time in Korea I actually set the date while I was in America for my first consultation and surgery on the same day and usually how people get surgery in Korea is that they go and get their consultation maybe if they like the doctor in the hospital then they set the date of the surgery and on that day they get their second consultation with the doctor and then they go right into the surgery but for me it was just one consultation on the day of the surgery because I was only spending three weeks in Korea and I didn't have enough time to look for a lot of places which I don't recommend if you guys are getting surgery you guys should probably consult with a lot of doctors before choosing your hospital but luckily for me I liked my hospital and I liked how my eyes came out but yeah it's kind of unsafe to do that so while I was still in America I used Kakao Talk which is a messenger app to communicate with the doctor and the lady that was helping out I don't really know what she's called but I'm just gonna call her the nurse so I sent them pictures of my eyes and how I wanted my eyes so they have an idea of what I look like and what I want so on the day of my surgery I went to the hospital I was really nervous because it was my first ever surgery that I remember yeah I was like really scared because I was getting it that day like I never even went to that hospital before but I had a consultation with the doctor before my surgery and it was kind of really quick so I was extra scared because I was like oh my god what if he messes up with my eyes so after the consultation I just washed my face and got into the clothes that they gave me and I went into the surgery room and I'm really glad that I was awake during this whole procedure because I was scared I and I really wanted to be put to sleep because you know like it's easier that way but for ptosis correction, they need to see how your eyes open. So during the surgery, which was four hours, it's a really long time, they kind of lifted me up and they asked me to open my eyes, close my eyes, open my eyes, close my eyes, like a lot of times. And I was doing that for four hours, so imagine like how long I had to wait. During the surgery, it was scary because I couldn't hear what he's doing. Like I can hear and feel him like cutting my eyes open and stuff but it didn't hurt because he put anesthesia on my eyes so after that um i went in back into the room and my mom was waiting for me in that room right after we went out to eat so the second and third day after i got my eye surgery it swelled up so bad i thought it was never gonna go down like i was really upset but it did go down and then three days after my eye surgery i went to get my nose and liposuction for the nose i was actually planning on getting it in the hospital that i got my eyes done but they didn't have the doctor that i wanted so I had to look for another hospital 
and I consulted at two places and the first one they didn't make me feel comfortable and the doctor that I consulted with recommended like unnecessary things because of that I didn't go to that hospital and the second hospital that I consulted with it was in Apkujang and that's the one I got my face liposuction and my nose so I was originally getting consultation with the doctor for my face liposuction but I got a text from my mom saying that the doctor I wanted from the other hospital was not available to do my nose so I just asked them like can I consult with a doctor that can do my nose and luckily he was free that day and I just talked to him about like the nose that I want and he seemed to really understand me and I also saw him in a YouTube video which like kind of explained like no surgery and he seemed to like know a lot so I just set the date to do both of them which was three days after my eye surgery so same thing for this hospital I just changed into their clothes and I washed my face and I just went into the surgery room and oh my gosh I was so scared when I went to the surgery room because there were so many nurses working on me like one was shaving my nose hair and oh my gosh she was so rough with me I was really scared but other than that everything went fine but like that part just really scared me one was sticking a needle in my arm after that happened um, the doctor came in I think they did my nose first so my nose doctor came in and he was just like, oh, you're going to be put to sleep. And after that, I don't really remember. And I just woke up in the bed. Yeah, I took some pictures and I don't really know how I did that because I was like still like out of it. And also I forgot to mention that for the face liposuction, I got my double chin and the line of my chin. So only here and here because I wanted to get it on my cheeks too because I thought my cheeks were fat but they were like, oh you're just gonna look older if you take them out. So they recommended getting chin Botox and I got that which I regret so much. And I'll tell you why later. But anyways, I was done with the surgery and my mom picked me up and I just went home. Yeah, in conclusion, I do like how my face turned out. Even a month ago, I was kind of iffy about it and I was really sad because there was so much swelling going on but I didn't know it was the swelling. Like, I just thought my surgery went bad. And I was literally texting everyone that I knew that got surgery and they're like, no, it's gonna be better, don't worry. And they were like kind of getting annoyed at me because I was bothering them so much. Um, They still say that my swelling is still there because it's only been two and a half months for the swelling to go completely down it takes a year or a little more it just depends on your body and the only thing that i didn't like was the chin botox because i think something went wrong and when i smile my left side of my lips don't go up like it used to be like like that when i smiled now it has gotten a lot better but I was really stressed out about it because I couldn't laugh without covering my mouth and I still have a habit of doing it because I've been doing it for so long other than that I think everything is fine so I'm just gonna insert some vlog clips now of my recovery so yeah good luck watching it <laughs> けどなんでと思うそう。と思うそう。オッケー。で、たらち。あ、で、グッカ。結構、これ全部されたこう。先生に伝えてんがかったよ。おなら。先生らんじ3日ちゃうよ。 이렇게 보았습니다 오늘 수술하면 끝나요 눈은 이제 거의 안 아프고요 그냥 되게 불편해요 눈도 잘안 보이고 저 이제 수술해요 이것도 다 빼요 에? 발만해? 떨은 못하겠지? 
이쪽 가 물, 어때? 어? 아파? 아니요. 아프진 않아? 그, 그냥 그래? 참을만해? 이 턱은 이거는 언제 아까 자고 쓰래? 계속 하고 있어. 내일까지? 네, 계속. 밥은 언제 먹어? 어떻게 먹어? 가자, 집에. 가자, 끈다. 오케이, 오케이. 오케이. 응, 끊어. 끊어. 지금 죽이랑 김치 먹어요. This side is so It's so dumb right now. 지금 제가 내가 되게 힘들어 보이는데 이렇게 힘들진 않은데 눈이 잘안 보여요. 너무 부어서. 되게 못생겼어요. 저 되게 얼굴이 보기 싫어요. 오늘은 이제 쌍꺼풀 수술한 지 11일 됐고 코랑 지방 흡입한 지 일주일이 됐습니다. 지금은 그냥 TV 보고 있습니다. 바이